MTA74, we've got stuff to talk about. A new realm, a cool website. Let's go. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, today Aerith Leia dropped some fat news. A new WoW Classic Realm is actually coming. That is very, very good news indeed. And we just, uh, I just um, saw the blue post and it came in and uh, Aerith Leia says, Due to extremely high demand, we will be establishing the following new WoW Classic Realm at approximately 20 hundred uh, CAST. Uh, that is Central European Standard Time, or 1900 British Standard Time on Wednesday, August 14th. The server is going to be named Gehanas, or Gehanas, Gehinas, you know, sounds like penis, so Gehanas, I'd say. PvP English. We suggest that players choosing a realm consider this one, as we expect that other English PvP realms may experience server queues at release. Well, now use my... Or my opinion later, but this is a very, very good step and it is very much welcomed by the community. Everybody's usually, you know, most people are very happy with this. Um, uh, a couple of whiners, they say, oh, now we're no, you know, all of these servers will die out and nobody will have population. Um, I think those people should just be quiet because, to be honest, that is exactly what Blizzard thought and they are. You know, crazy, in, in a massive sense, they're under, underestimating how many people want to play this game. As Mark Curran tweeted, um, you know, two servers for the whole EU region as PvP servers. I know there's PvE servers, but, you know, let's face it, um, most people want, most people will roll on PvP servers, right? Um, so, yeah, two, two PvP servers for the EU region in itself is just, it's, it's not acceptable, really. And uh, this is a very good step in the right direction. I think this one will be as full, as high uh, as Shazra and Golemag uh, at release time at uh, 8 p.m. Uh, European time. So uh, we'll see how this turns out. Anyway, this is a very good step uh, step by Bliz uh, Blizzard, and uh, we gotta, you know, um, applaud them when they actually do something that is um, for the community. I have the feeling that um, the classic team actually did a really good job in listening to the community in a sense that they're not just listening to all whining whiny stuff that's happening on the forums and i mean you know by all means there's enough of it um but they they, they really choose what does make sense uh and uh you know try to really go through through a th uh, thought process behind it so um very good job for the classic team so far it's uh tell them a big big thank you and um compliment them for their efforts um, so yeah, we'll see you guys on at 8 p.m. I guess <laughs> spread out the community a little bit more. I know, but um, to be quite honest, that was the right step to do. Eric, there, thank you very much for these amazing news um, right now. So uh, we are quite hyped. Uh, also in today's um, MTA, I want to point out a very cool website. Uh, I wanted to point out this website for a while now, and I um, uh, due to all these issues that I had with the uh, flippant PC, um, you know, this was all forgotten. So, the website is called wowclassicbiz.com and um, in on this particular website it is just um, really, really cool. You can you can check um, basically everything, you know, every stage has a, has a biz list uh, depending on your class, on your spec, you can choose whatever. Uh, it is mostly accurate, right? Um, now, being, you know, having been a prod paladin, of course, I can say that this business here is utter useless and garbage, of course, because you want to stack. <laughs> no, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty accurate. Um, the Deathbone said and all these uh, things, but um, you know, leggings of the Eternal Guardian over the full Deathbone set. Are you mad? Uh, I say that is um, that is ludicrous, but um, those are nuances. It's uh, it's it's small things. And I mean, to be fair, Prot Paladin is not a very, um, you know, popular spec, so um, I can forgive it. I can forgive it. What I'm wondering, though, for example, like Red Paladin Fury Warrior doesn't have the Lionheart Helm as Biz. That is very uh, concerning to me. But overall, you can definitely recommend this site for uh, new players. Definitely, um, you know, what what is the Biz, the absolute Biz? Although, if you go to Dagger Rogue and it says Alcor Sunraiser as your Biz offense, uh, it kind of, you know. Uh, arises wrong assumptions of what you should be aiming for. Of course, this is the, you know, technically the biz, but 
Um, is this really what you want to want to grind gold for and want to spend 1000 gold for when you can have decent other offhand daggers? Of course it is not. And um, this also changes uh, according to the um, stages that we're going to be in. But overall, it is re really a, a cool source for um, you know getting a general idea of what is best for you, what you should go for, and then you can talk to other people and uh, complete your opinion. Because the more opinions you gather, the more accurate it will become. And with that being said, you can also change between the Factions Horde and Alliance. So it's a really cool tool. I definitely recommend you go and check it out. Um, also because it will be a little bit tricky to keep track of all the best items depending on the stage we're going to be in. So we have a, you know, stage two is the Dire Mall release. If you need help on uh, what stages, uh, what content coming out, just Google uh, War Classic Stages and you will find several websites that will um, tell you what it is. Now, um, I am very um, surprised with one thing though. Oh yeah. Um, now you can see, and this is proof, right, that the Azure Song Mage Blade is the best in slot item for Paladins in Phase 2 for Holy Paladins. So suck it, mages. We are going to roll on it. <laughs> so enjoy. Um, of course, this is all debatable. As I said, this is, is a rough estimation. It is pretty accurate and it is pretty a um, uh, pretty cool website to keep in mind, especially for the first phase because there's not a whole bunch of items in there. And with that, it is time for the biz. The biz. And in today's biz section, we have an item especially designed for all of y'all uh, feral druids out there. Um, because I know, or I assume, that there's going to be a lot of Feral Druids coming over from either Retail or like EFA. And Feral has been a really, really good spec um, after Vanilla, or a very popular spec, let's say that, uh, say it that way. Because it is a really good spec in Classic 2. Um, it just wasn't very popular. So, um, now, why I'm pointing this out is... Um, uh, recently, a friend just got back to play Feral again, and um, uh, we we're discussing a couple of items. And um, Feral is uh, certainly a very good class in, in, in Classic, very underrated. And so the Smoking Heart of the Mountain is picked for today's Biz section because it is actually Biz. As you can see in the well, ClassicBiz.com list also, right? Uh, you have the two trinkets, the Mark of Tyranny, which is a quest reward from um, killing uh, Rakisad, I believe. And the Smoking Heart of the Mountain is uh, a crafted item. You actually have to level enchanting for it. And um, you need to level it up to 265. And uh, the recipe is dropped by Lord Rocker from the Black Rock Depth. And uh, Lord Rocker is an elemental of some sort and he patrols in the ring And uh, when you first enter. And uh, you can actually solo farm him, I believe. And uh, when he drops the recipe, you can sell the recipe, so you could also buy this on the auction house, but you cannot uh, sell the trinket, and this the trinket is actually bind on pickup. So what you need to do is you need to be enchanter, level it up to 265, then learn the recipe, then you can equip the trinket, then you can unlearn enchanting if you so desire, and uh, learn another profession. So this trinket is especially good because it offers you, first of all, all resistances. It only requires level 50 and it has 150 armor. And as we all know, um, ferals do scale immensely with armor. And uh, this armor that you have on this trinket will get multiplied with your terror bear form or dire bear form, as it's called in, in English. Terror bear is actually German. Sounds, sounds actually quite dangerous. Um, what you need for it is a sm uh, Blood of the Moten, which drops from Molten Core, Trash Mobs, an Essence of Fire and Small Brilliant Chart, so not all that expensive. The Blood of the Mountain should be attainable. There you go, you got um, this one and the Mark of Tyranny as your best trinkets for bear tanks. And you should definitely pick this one up because it will last you a long, 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 long while, or I think until next. So if we have any um, Feral rows in here. Let me know until when this trinket is bis because I think I know that it is bis until next because I cannot think of any other really good trinkets um, that is better for feral tank than this one for a very 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 long time. Alright folks this has been some pretty fat news coming in. Uh, I try to be as quick as possible. I hope you enjoy the new server. Roll on Gehenna's if you so desire. Get your smoke and heart of the mountain and check out the website. That's me done for the day. I wish you a very pleasant Wednesday and I'll see you next time.